this movie I will explain you how you can use your KNXNet IP router as a device for downloading your ETS program to your KNX components. So we start with the KNXNet IP router and we can add this in our line one for example add devices and I will choose for the KNXNet IP router doesn't matter which manufacturer you take but for example I took this first one and when I added this KNXNet IP router it was given the address the physical address 1.1.7 so be aware when you choose for example 1.1.0 this means that you will use your KNXNet IP router as a kind of a router as a kind of a coupler between your uh, first line in this case and uh, line 0 so because it is a KNXNet IP router it has a connection to the KNX cable the green cable and the IP cable so this means that line 0 has to be IP when I check for example this zone for this moment it is twisted pair so I will uh, have to change this to IP if I want to use the KNXNet IP router as a coupler but this is not the case I want to use the KNXNet IP router as a kind of a USB interface for just downloading my program over Ethernet so what do I have to do next I have my I can extend IP router and I will look into the settings I have the parameters general the name and the IP settings assignment method I chose for DRCP uh, DRCP so this means that um, the KNXNet IP router will give an IP address by a router I will use also a router now for this moment and I am connected to the wireless router it has an address IP address 192.168.0.1 so you can see that I am connected to the wireless um, router and genius uh, network so then I go back and I can when I choose for example DHCP that it will uh, be given an IP address from that router but I can also choose for example manually and then I will have to add the IP address uh, for example this is one 192 168 1 and 100 so be aware third um, is a 1 and it's not a 0 and I have a look here this is a zero so this means that in this example it has another subnet um, so, so the subnet mask is 255 255 255 so the three uh, numbers the three first numbers have to be fixed in my LAN network so this means that the last number I can change and I see for example the default gateway is 1.1 in my case it should be um, 0 0.1 so 192, 168, 0 and 1 so this IP address is in fact the IP address of the router is the default gateway so this has to be the same so in my case if I choose for manually I could change change this to zero this also to, to zero and then it will work or I can leave this like one I can just let it unchanged and then the router I could change also my IP address to for example 1.1 this is the same doesn't matter but it's more easy just to uh, choose this option and uh, the default value DHCP so 
then the next is a routing multicast address I don't have to change this I just leave it like that then I have the option for the routing filtering from IP to KNX and from KNX to KNX to IP but I won't do anything about this because I'm not routing with this KNX router I could do this when I for example uh, put it here as a 1.1.0 as a kind of a coupler between KNX and Ethernet so in this case I'm only using this for downloading and I uh, um, only addresses and the IP address so I will download these parameters in the KNX and IP router of course I have to use in this case the USB interface for downloading I can't use the KNX and IP router for downloading because I have to download first the parameters that the KNX and IP router knows he, ha he is uh, uh, he has been chosen for just downloading I call it also tunneling and I will have a look take a look to the ETS bus connection and I see the current interface is KNX USB uh, data interface but I can also see that he already has discovered some other interfaces just like the KNX and IP router 1.1.7 is the individual address or physical address and I see this is the IP address the router has given to the KNX not IP router so this is 192.168.0.100 so this is correct because the IP address of the router starts also with 192, 168 and 0 so first I will choose this connection so the uh, USB KNX data interface and I will use this connection for downloading the parameters of the KNX and IP router so I have to download I choose for full download I already downloaded the physical address 1.1.7 so normally I should uh, press a button for downloading also the physical address but um, I'm just waiting for the sign so he knows it's already 1.1.7 so he will download also the parameters without any problem so he knows he has the TSCP settings so of course I saw this KNX and IP router because I did already download the DSCP settings but when this is new for the first time he won't uh, be able or maybe depend on the default settings if he already checked in the ETS bus connection if there is any um, KNX net IP router interface so now he is, has been downloaded again and the router has to um, give him an IP address so take a look at this and I will also take a look now um, to the interfaces and I see again the discovered interfaces is 192 168 0 um, 100 okay this is correct Great. I see also port number 3671 uh, this is also not to be changed this is the correct number so you can leave it so for this moment I will test this connection so the KNX net IP router I will also remove the USB data interface I will remove it and I will select the KNX net IP router but you see it's IP tunneling this means I will use the KNX net IP router for just tunneling for just downloading my program to all other components to all other devices bus devices so for example I take the first line I will download application and he asked uh, target individual address 
this is because there is also USB interface I selected everything I just will say local download and he will say local interface cannot be that um, managed but here you see that all components are being downloaded except of I will wait a little bit and you will see except of the USB interface because there is no program in it and it has no meaning to download this of course so that was the reason that I got also this uh, window in fact I could select only the other components without the USB interface so this is a way to connect your laptop wireless to a router and your router who is connected to a KNX net IP router by a UTP cable so I connect wireless to my router and I connect with cable from the KNX net IP uh, router to the router wireless router and this is a way to download just my ETS program and all other components as you can see I I can also do this with other components on other lines for example line 0 it's no problem so it will download through the line coupler to uh, through the line uh, 0 great So this is the way to download your program through a KNX NetIP router.